guys so today I'm gonna show you how to do the air brake test all right so the first thing you have to do before you do anything is tell the person that's gonna be with you that you're gonna get off and chuck the wheels so I would say before I start my air brake test I will get off the truck and chuck one of my wheels and get back on the truck after you do that I will explain to them that the first thing I will do is turn the truck on and build up my air pressure and fill up my air tanks and that my sh my governor should kick in at about 130 or 140 psi so with that being said I'm gonna turn the truck on and rev it to about a 1500 uh, rpms and as soon as my governor kicks in I will let him know and I can start my air brakes so I'll make sure the trucks in neutral and I'll start the truck And if you're doing a class B, you just have to release your parking brakes. And if you're doing a class A, you have to do both your tractor brakes and your trailer brakes. I don't have a trailer hooked up right now, so I'm gonna just do my parking brakes. I will let the needle settle back and then I can start. It went down to 115 PSI. So now I have to check to make sure that I don't have any air leaks on my brakes. And by doing that, I have to press on the brake pedal for one minute, make sure I don't lose more than three to four PSI. And for that, you can pull out your phone and set your timer. And what you would do is just press on the brakes, let the needle go back and start it from there. The needle right now is at 110 PSI. I will start my timer. After a minute, I will show them and say I did not lose more than three to four psi so after that now I have to check to make sure that my uh, low air warning buzzer or indicator light shows up that comes out at about 60 or 50 psi and now I will press on my brake pedal on and off so my air warning no air warning brake light came on at about 65 psi so we know that's working and now i have to make sure that my emergency brakes are working i will press the brake pedal on and off a couple more times at about 40 45 psi my valve should pop out if it's a class b it would just be the yellow knob and if you're doing a class a combination it'll be both of them pop out at the same time <laughs> My knobs popped out at about 40 psi and I have now completed my air brake test so now that the air brake test is done I will check my service brakes my tractor and trailer brakes if I had one turn the truck on for that normally when you finish your air brake test you have no air on the truck 
so just build it up. First thing you gotta do, well if you're doing a class B, you're just gonna check the tractor brakes. So here they're applied, all you would do is put the truck in low gear, try to move forward. That would mean that your truck is braking and the brakes are working properly. Now if you're doing a class A, tractor and trailer, I would release my trailer brake and get the truck on low gear to make sure that my truck brakes are working. And then you would do the other way around. Push in your parking brakes to check your trailer brakes. Put it in low gear. Give it a little pull. Then to check your service brakes, put both of the knobs in if you're doing a class A, class B, just your parking brake. Move forward in low gear, two or three seconds at five miles per hour and just hit the brakes. And now, Thank you for watching.